Hey guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about what sort of reasoning you put behind your training and why certain goals can be amazing to go after, but why there also needs to be kind of a deeper sense of why you're doing what you're doing. And I just wanted to share with you a little bit of my background, why I do what I do, why I train the way that I train. And honestly, I tend to be a little bit of an internal person and training has allowed me to give an external expression to how I feel. And it has released me from a lot of, you know, maybe old experiences, way, things that I didn't know how to talk through or I didn't know how to express myself. Movement has brought me that expression. And so I'm able to take my workouts and even put something that's on my mind and I label that workout with that thing and I just say, I'm gonna do this workout and at the end of it, I don't ever wanna think about that thing again. I'm gonna leave it in the past. And I really hope that you hear that and you can begin to do the same thing. Maybe take some experiences or things that have been hard to even mentally process through and use your movement, use it, your effort, use even some aggression to work through really tough things to kind of navigate verbally or emotionally. And you know, when I started formulating programs, I had actually heard from my sister who was really overweight. She had five kids. She was concerned about her health and how long she actually could continue with her lifestyle because she had these kids that she wanted to be there for. And so her health started to really impede on the possibility that she might have some serious concerns before her kids were even out of high school. So she reached out to me for help and we come from a very, very humble start. We don't have, we didn't have money to be going out and spending on a gym membership or equipment and things like that. And she had to support her family and that was her priority. So what I did was created a program for her to do at home to let her lose weight, get control over her life, have a peace of mind knowing that she was gonna be in good health to take care of her family. And that was kind of how my philosophy was born. I really don't think that only the people that can afford a gym membership or a fancy equipment should have the right to get healthy. It's all of our rights. We don't need to be have special privileges or anything in order to take control of our lives. And so that's why I formulate the way that I do. She told me a story and I'll leave it with you that it was in the middle of February and I had intervals for her to do and you'll understand how uh, kind of daunting this idea is, but she didn't have a treadmill and she had no way to you know, exercise inside. So she went outside and she ran through her backyard in feet of snow and it wasn't until she collapsed, completely bawling her eyes out, that she realized how far she had fallen and how far she had kind of let herself go. And it was from that point that she picked herself up and she put herself back together again, wiped the tears off of her face, and she got to work, and it was not pretty. And I just wanna give you that story. She's now almost 100 pounds down. She's got control over her life. She's vibrant and alive and spending some great active time with her family. And I can't tell you, just as much as I love my own sister and I wanted to see her succeed, I have the same feelings for you and I really believe in you guys and can't wait to work together.